Josh here, uh, flying solo today. Dane's calling a tournament. Wish him well. Uh, I'm excited. My favorite part is doing um, the interviews in studio. Today's a big one. I want to kind of set the stage for this awesome lady coming on here in a little bit, Shelly Kim. Uh, a little background about her. Um, I believe that uh, laughter is a powerful, powerful form of medicine, and the world needs more of that, especially with how um, kind of tough everybody, uh, you know, tough times right now. People are feeling the strain, just uh, the stress and a lot of the negative stuff that we try not to get into on the show, just, just life, right? Um, so this lady, uh, Shelly Kim, uh, I found her going through profiles, stand-up comedians, and I started listening to her content, and I couldn't get enough. I started binge-watching it. Just a hilarious, hilarious performer, stand-up comedian, obviously kind of a social media influencer, and just all-around uh, positive role model. So obviously with what we do on the show, wanted to track her down, finally was able to connect with Shelly, and get right down to it and bring her on. Ms. Shelly, how are you doing today, my friend? Hi. Oh, thank you for the very nice intro. That was really, that was really sweet. Um, it felt good to hear. All true, my friend. Thank you for being uh, what you, doing what you do and bringing laughter to the world. So I'm going to jump right into these questions because I know you're a busy lady. You got people to, you know, you got people to make laugh. So first question, yeah. when I think about you doing this and, and your body of work, which is ever growing, take me back, like when you got the nerve to do this, because doing comedy is, is nerve wracking. When did this all begin for you? Um, the love for this, you know? Oh, man. So um, this, so my first show ever was my high school senior talent show. Um and everyone, okay. I was like a quiet kid. Everyone was like nervous, like what, what is this? Um, and thankfully it went well, you know, like because it also was high school, so I was like jokes about like the fundraiser, you know. Yeah. Um, and then they're like, oh my god, she said it, and like, um, <laughs> and, like my big closer was about how everyone's voices are still cracking, and that like really blew up. Um, and that I think, and then that kind of solidified it for me. Then I went to college. There was a club there, so I can blame, um. I can blame uh, high school and college on what I just okay myself <laughs> got the bug got the bug for it huh that's awesome right, yeah, so, yeah. You know, they always say like it's a form of creativity because like uh, comedians actors actresses musicians right making making comedy is a form of art because you're you're it's all subjective right it's like just like with a, a painting is this person going to take this are they going to laugh are they going to not that's that's a lot of power that you have you know in making the content so it's really cool that you started at a young age obviously from the, the high school days and kind of the, the talent show stuff, uh, you've done quite a bit of comedy. I'm curious so far, you know, everyone's kind of got that favorite spot they performed at. Maybe it's, you know, a live stream or something, or it's a gig. What's your favorite gig so far that you've done, you know? Like shows ever? Yeah. Or like yeah. Ever? Oh, so the biggest one I did was um that I was like, that no way that just happened was um So uh, Roy Wood Jr. Um, he uh, messaged me on DM on Instagram being like, Hi, I have a show coming up with Jordan Klepper in about two months. Are you nice. available? And I'm like, oh, this this is for sure fake. Like, this is not like that's yeah. really funny that this person is trying to like catch me here. And I looked on his profile, I'm like, oh my god, it's real. Um, and then um, and then I uh, messaged back, and then those shows were sold out. Um, nice. Yeah, and those are theaters, and like, uh, I've never done a show for that many people. So one of them was the Warner Theater in DC, wow. and that's the capacity is 1800 um so that's yeah and then um and then we went charlottesville and that was like 1400 capacity um and, that's awesome yeah nice. yeah what's great was that like um so the shows went really well because they're all there for him like him and jordan klepper um yeah. and he was like do you want me to introduce you in certain ways i'm like eh, whatever he's like all right i'll make something up and i'm like okay and he truly made it up he truly made up <laughs> <laughs> he said awesome. uh she you've seen her in clubs and uh colleges everywhere numerous appearances on comedy central not true and like <laughs> and i want to be like hey you've never seen your life you know <laughs> so, i love that, that. Cool. but like that was a context where everyone would like kind of be like I, I guess that's true right yes yeah, so, um, that's cool yeah 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 that's that cool. was that was this year that was probably the, the coolest show i've done um and then that's the awesome i bombed at open mic so you know <laughs> okay true. yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that's so cool, though, like, you know, because be, you get noticed when, you, when you're funny or when you're inspirational, you know, and, and there's so many different forms of comedy. And what you're doing is so it's so like powerful, but also inspirational and funny at the same time. It's, it's I can't I can't really put one finger on it like, oh, what you do, because it's so broad. It's neat. Like you're not in one portal of comedy. You do everything, you know, it's cool. Satire, you know, slapstick. So I, I love what you're doing. I guess my question when you're looking at that, because you're, you're going through and now kind of building this, it's now starting to snowball. More and more people know who you are. Um, when I hear your comedy, 
Um, my, my, my favorites kind of growing up, I'm in that time frame. I'm almost 40. So I have a lot of like the early two thousands comedians, uh, that I saw. And I like your fresh take how you're kind of using social media to influence people with comedy at the same time. Back in the day, we'd go to a show, we'd sit there and watch a 90 minute, you know, HBO special. Now you're trying to fit comedy into like a two minute TikTok or things like that. Right. It's different, you know? So influence your influences, who helps you market brand, who influences you, who's some of your muses, if you will, you know? Yeah, so if, let's just go, like, you know how, um, you're a musician, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, I don't know why I asked it, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. narrative style, but, like, um, uh, you know, it just changes, you know, like, who got you started. I don't know if you still listen to them now, so, like, um, true. Yeah. my, um, like, my, my first comedian that I was, like, oh, this guy's hilarious was, like, uh, when I was in high school, like, Dimitri Martin, because, like, okay. yeah. thinking about it, like, um, because at the time, I mean, I was young, so, like, I can't, like, I couldn't relate to any other stand-up comedian. They're like, my freaking wife. Um, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. what, is this, what are you talking about? And like, yeah. oh my gosh, you don't want to go to DMV. I'm like, I don't know what that is. And then, um, so, but he was talking about like shapes and concepts. And I'm like, oh, I get that. Um, but I think over the years, it's just been like a lot of. Um, involves. Yeah, yeah. Involved a lot of comics like um, that. Like there was a lot of DC based comics that like have yeah. inspired yeah. me. Like uh, Barn and Antrill is hilarious. Hampton Young. Um He's not in LA, but he's um uh, I mean he's not from DC, but like I love Dave Ross, Caleb Sinan, uh, obviously like um Ronnie Chang. Um, yeah, you know I'm looking at the the as uh, the snowball effect is happening for you, and this this thing's starting to take off the next year or so. What do you got planned? You got some shows, new content. What's the next year looking like for you? Yeah, so my um my managers uh so I think what's a real cool thing I, I got representation this year, so that's pretty awesome. Um and uh my managers are like, so you coming to New York? What do you think we've met? Cool. So I need to start looking at that, but um, I gotta get like everything in order because um, okay, New York is like you know, just the least affordable place on earth. Um, after like for sure, are, yes, but like um, yeah, that uh, and then more content coming for uh, more. Oh yeah, I have um, I guess this is the first one announcing it um, on your show. I have a special taping coming out. I'm doing it later this. It's not, it's this year though. Um, I'm I'm still speaking to the production company. It's not not on like Netflix or anything. It's a small independent production, but they uh cool. It's yeah, still cool. Um, yeah, yeah. It's it's um later this year. Yeah, that's nice. That's, okay. That now we're still working through the contracts and stuff. But congrats, that's exciting. I can't wait yeah, for that. Yeah. yeah. I think like I said, I expanded on it a little bit, Shelly, before I kind of move forward. I think it's neat. Um, the way you do it. Again, I like how you're constantly you're giving people comedy like every couple of days, right? Like it's it's so cool because you're keeping people hooked, right? Like the digital age. I love that you do that. You know? Yeah, no, it's thank you. Yeah, it's it's um it's no, I would say every comic doesn't like kind of re uh, resents it. Like, oh, I have to make another video. I'm sure you know it, it takes a while to make something. It's like a few hours yeah. at least, you know, for like something that's like thirty seconds, and you're like, and yeah. it didn't, like do well. You're like, what? Why did I do that? You know. But the reality is it is informed. That is how I found like the cool openers. That's that is how Roy would uh, message me. That is how I found my managers. They messaged me and they're like, hey, we like your stuff. Um, and then like getting brand partnerships. Like, yeah, you have to like, you, you, I don't know. It's like you kind of have to separate yourself from like um, from the media for a bit as far as like by that. I mean, like it's really unnatural to look at your own face that much on your phone, um, but you have to do it like. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you have to you have to constantly work at your craft, even though you have the passion and the love to do this. At some point, it is it is it is a job too. So I get what yeah. you're saying. You know, your 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 job is your 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 job is to make people laugh, and that's that's a, that's a thing. You know, because if you go through real life too, like it's not like your life just stops and the, and the things you go through. So you're you're taking on this almost like a, a burden of other people to help them. I commend you for that while you're still trying to process through your own life. So I've always said one of the hardest, in my opinion, I, I my hat goes off to you. I think what you're doing is a little bit tougher than act, acting and music because you have to present something that sometimes maybe you're not. Musicians, they'll sing about how they're sad and you know they'll get out all their feelings and all that. You don't hear a lot of sad comedies where it's like they go out there and cry. You have a, you know what I'm saying? So right love yeah it. there's a do you know um paul of tompkins um, i've heard the name yeah, yeah heard the name. i really love i'm butchering his joke but he has a joke about where like a uh, time he bombed really hard at the whiskey a go-go in la i'm sure you know that venue yeah. it's, a, it's yeah. a rock venue and oh yeah he, i just keep throwing at him um and he said you know 
I have a lot of musician friends and they say things like, I could never do what you do. And then to them, I say, you are right. You couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so good. Honey behind well, your songs, you know? Like. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So I, I respect what you do, Shell. I mean that. And again, it just, um, I, I can't say enough thank yous on that. So I'm going to transition a little segment. I guarantee you in any media, any interviews or any press you've done, I promise you, you never had a segment like this. What this is, so Dane and I usually when he's here bet, uh, what we do, it's a five question set. There's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer. It's kind of rapid fire. So you pick A or B, you pick what you feel is right. And at the end, I'll tell you what I thought you were gonna say. I'm kind of betting on you on oh, what God. I think you're gonna say. Almost like a family feud, kind of a mini family feud thing, if you will. So five questions, no wrong answer. You go with what you would pick if you're presented with this and I'll tell you if I got it right. Sound good? Sounds scary. Let's do it. It's, it, it's good. It's, it's fun. PG, we're about to get weird. So imagine okay, cool. that reality, <laughs> imagine for a minute reality stops. You can go back in time. You can go in the future. You can be in movies. You can be a cartoon. Nothing's off the table for this segment, okay? So oh, okay. I thought you were starting it. Like, so let's just say we go back in time, would you? I'm yeah, like, oh. yeah. So so here's here's the question set. Question one, okay? Um, they ask you, and there's, I'm so excited. They've announced that next kind of section of Star Wars movies coming out soon. I think it's 2027. I cannot wait. They ask you, they say, hey, you know what? We caught wind of what you're doing. We think it'd be cool to have you in this movie kind of more doing like a serious role, transition totally. And you can be the next Shelly Skywalker. There okay. me. <laughs> or you can be the next Darth Shelly. So Shelly Skywalker oh. or Darth Shelly, which way are we going on that? I, um. Does Shelley Skywalker have like a problematic relationship with his like parents? Wasn't that like a weird thing where um, he- Yeah, Luke, yeah. Luke, I'm like forgetting it wow, but Luke had like- um... Yeah, his parents like, his parents uh, dropped him off on another planet. They were parents of the year. <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think Darth would be cool for sure. Go, let's go. Yeah. I can be Darth, so ha um, yeah. I had you for that, I really did. I, I, so yeah. you're, if you guys are listening out there, uh, Disney, um, you know, uh, get get, get Shelly in the next installment. We love it. So question two, here we go. Question two. So your next um, your next special after this one, Netflix approaches you saying, hey, Shelly, we want you to do a Netflix comedy special. We're going to tape it for you. Spring of 2025. But this is, the, this is the weird part. There's two topics. You have to pick only one of these two topics to make your entire routine about one of these two topics. And here they are. Your topic could be about different types of toilet paper, whole special, got to roll with that. Or your topic can be about different types of onions. Toilet paper, onions, Netflix special, which one is Shelly Kim choosing? You know, as much as I would love to be like sponsored by Charmin, like that would really, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I'd be like, well, I don't have to do comedy ever again, but like, yep, uh, let's go. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I, I don't have humor like that. Um, and okay. uh, I, 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 uh, I cook a lot. Um, and onions, you know, I don't know. Is there like a major onion distributor? Like that no, we no, I just, it's just rando stuff. It's well, rando. because I'm so, I'm, I'm about the, col the, the colony, not the money. Uh, let's just yeah. go with onions. Cause I can't. <laughs> let's go. Can you imagine all the layers of it? Like no pun intended, like peel them okay. back. The, peeling back the, the mind of Shelly Kim, we could get all crazy with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? You know? Oh, and because of the onion, people will think that's like, um, there's a collaboration there when there isn't. So I get to yeah. peel off the onion. Yeah, there you go. So got you. I, I, I had that one too. I'm, I'm a two for two, love it. So next yeah. one, you're going a different direction. Again, you're, you're becoming this Renaissance woman, music, uh, acting, comedy. So these two, uh, these two bands approach you or entities and say, hey, we're sick for the night. We need you to fill in and be our front woman for the night and sing for us. These two bands. So a whole different direction. These are the two bands you can choose from. They're both in Madison Square Garden. They're they're about to do their thing. Wow. Shelly, I need you to fill in for us. You can fill in for AJR. I love AJR. Great, great band. Or you can fill in for the night for Ed Sheeran. AJR, Ed Sheeran, where are we going? Oh wow. You know, it'd be really funny to I, I don't know, I don't really know AJR, but I would definitely ruin Ed Sheeran's career by my singing. <laughs> That'd be really, really funny. <laughs> walk away. And I would definitely go viral like that, you know. <laughs> Shelly Kim butchers a song by Ed Sheeran. No, I'm sure he'd sing great. Awesome, no, no, so. no. I would, but I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. He'd become famous in a different way for that 
that technique, right? I, got yeah. I, I had uh, I had AJR on that one, so that's my first wrong one. I kind of took you because they're kind of an up and coming, like they're a digital band. I just I don't know the, the presence are always on social media, so that was my first one I got. Oh, I, I would I would feel kind of bad making AJR, you know, like oh, <laughs> like, get okay. here and he'll be he'll be fine. So he'll, he'll recover. I got you. I see what you're yeah. saying. I love it. I love it. Um, they're doing a charity event. Um, they're doing a celebrity flag football uh, tournament. Okay, and they're taking cast of comedy TV shows. It's like one cast versus another in this flag football tournament. And they want you to quarterback for a team. Um, and you can be, uh, you're, you're able to choose your two teams. You can pick one that you want to work with. You can work with the cast of Modern Family. You can quarterback for them. Or you can work with the cast of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and quarterback for them. Modern Family, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Who's your team for this flag football tournament? Um... When you say modern family, does it include the, the children in there? Yep, everybody, everybody. Yeah, yep. well, I can't Old play cast. sports for, I, I'm not supposed to curse, so I can't play sports well at all. <laughs> so, <Got you. laughs> um, so I should use Brooklyn Nine-Nine, because then um even, like, if I if I, the modern family, if there's, like, the baby would be like, yikes. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, just <laughs> the let's do modern, uh, I mean, uh, Brooklyn just, just go with your chances because of Terry Crews and the bigger, I got you. Yeah, of course. Okay. There's the NFL guy. Yeah. Yeah. Rip somebody. Uh, oh, I got yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just get injured and they can cover for me. You know? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, segment, Shelly called Rapid Fire. Thank you for being a good sport. That's yeah, segment, I appreciate you. you. So fun. the last segment, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the last segment, because uh, like I said, we do try to value your time. This little thing we do called open mic. No pun intended. <laughs> and this oh, is no. actually, it's, it's our, it's our, uh, our, kind of a segment that we choose every episode, whether it's a comedian, an artist like yourself, actress, whatever. Everybody gets to this point in their life and their journey through hard work, the grind, things like that. So if you were to maybe go back and tell your beginning self or someone that wants to follow what you're doing one day, just a piece of advice. What's some open mic advice you'd give to someone that wants to be you one day? You know? Um, um, STEM is a great field. No, I'm just kidding. I... Uh... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, and actually, so apparently because of AI stems not all right, that's another I have ADHD like you wouldn't believe. So You're um, good. You're good. Yeah. Uh oh, so someone trying to go like Yeah. My Let's path? say someone wants to step in your path and be a uh, comedian and in, in, uh influencer, entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, what's some advice you give someone that wants to be like you? Someone who um there was a comic I love named Robin Tran and she she gave me this advice. It was like you have to get your mental health in order. Okay. You know? If you're um just try to be as healthy as possible mentally it's because like um it's not it's it's not normal to be in front of crowds that much it's not normal to look at your own face making videos it's gonna be really weird you know so like um yeah uh there's like the whole notion that there's like tortured artists and stuff um that makes it that makes it worse that makes it you really know, really you know, okay yeah, like if you think if you're if you're truly depressed you don't get up and make stuff you just lay down all day you know like that wow yeah that doesn't sound fun you're not a funny person if you're depressed that's horrible and like <laughs> um, wow yeah, yeah. That's, that's speaking from experience you know um okay. so uh that and um if this person's female like uh find find some female friends there's some really gross dudes out there that are doing comedy especially when you're starting out um and don't yeah just uh don't compromise don't compromise don't, don't sell compromise. out yeah yeah, yep. yeah don't compromise, sell out but also find find some friends when you start out it sucks but you really need people to that that you enjoy being around you know i love that shelly that's that's it's it's powerful what you're saying and like i told you even off the air um we are all about showcasing strong female inspirational leaders like yourself and when you said that the world needs to hear more of that you don't have to settle you don't have to take a step back you don't have to take a back seat you are just as equal and powerful as any male comedian or anything else and that's what the world needs to hear you know so sure, yeah yeah no i appreciate well, that yeah and it's like um you know i'm not saying like uh don't make any like they're all going to be terrible but like you know I, i'm sure you know they're like music and uh like comedy and anything it can it can um attract if there's any um if there's a venue that has like open signups or anything there's consequences to that it brings some yeah. really old people out that aren't like you know if your parents saw you're like please stop doing this you know so, i love it man. yeah, yeah. So just just uh uh be aware of that and have some friends and make be make sure like make sure you have a support system because it's not that's, wow no I'm, I'm catching which that's powerful that's something you know, I will tell you in a lot of interviews we've done and things like that. And there's, you know, people get real, but I appreciate you getting real too, that you need to have guardrails up and, 
and and don't just go into it just full force have some checks and balances have a support system the mental health thing is really really powerful too because i never really think about that you think comedians until you hear them really tell how their life works you think they're just always funny but like when you're talking about going through real life like you have you have to overcome those things and you can take what you've overcame to give that back and help with somebody else so in a way you're really uh it's just you're relaying your life experiences and your how you got through it. Maybe I'm speaking for you too much, but no, 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 yeah, no, no. yeah. You know. I, I think so. Like I do have jokes about like, you know, my depression and anxiety or like the the different stuff I've had. But I mean, I've had I'm like actively working on them. But I think like yeah. you know, I must stay effed up to like yeah. to be yeah. an artist. That's like that's stupid, man. Like I love that, Shelly. Thank you. That's so powerful that you took some time to be real with us. I that's like I said, people, people, there's a lot of people that want to do what you do. And to know you've got to prepare yourself and to be um to be okay not being okay sometimes. It's just that's good stuff. So, yeah. Wow. And, the, and no one no one thought I could do it. So like truly. So like um if anyone's like, oh really? I heard it's hard, like just stupid, don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> wow well shall i will say this i know uh it's always always a privilege um thank you i know we've been connected for quite some time and we wanted to get the timing right i'm so grateful to get the chance to do this uh we say once you come on the show once you're an alum so as more content comes out as you're in that creative process and making more stuff please come back anytime don't let this be oh, the yeah. last time I, I love i love what you're doing i support you thank you again for um celebrating your heritage being a strong female leader and just being super super funny even through like some of the darkest times that we're going through so i can't get enough of you um this won't be the last time um please 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 send my love to your camp and everyone that helped make this happen um don't be a stranger and let's uh let's do this again soon okay you rule. So. you rule man thank you appreciate it thank you my friend much love shelly so guys that's shelly kim tony i love this lady she's so inspirational what i love about it is that she doesn't hold back on real life either and one of the things that she'll do is she'll talk to you as you as you heard about the real life uh, struggles just like think about any profession or anything that somebody wants to do whether it's a professional athlete whether it's a musician an actor actress uh, maybe it's a writer or a comic book artist some of the people we've had on shelly gives you a glimpse of real life um, and it's hey it's okay sometimes you don't have to have it all figured out you just gotta be working on it so that to me is just a very very powerful um truth that we needed to hear you can help others but you got to help yourself first so wow powerful stuff so grateful that she took the time to do that. Uh, we owe her big for that. So we'll get this out to her as soon as we can. Um, so that, uh, Dane, again, sends his love. On behalf of Dane and Josh, don't forget, as always, that we love you. And thank you for listening.